Welcome back to Supreme Black Podcast. This is your boy D Rose, man. Looks like my boy uh, Jonathan Joseph Jr. has started a new black owned dating app that is called Amour. Uh, so the difference between this is that they really focus on the sapiosexuals, uh, people that are looking for real mature love. This isn't a hookup site. This isn't something that you're just going to be getting on there. <laughs> yeah, let me just smash little, little homie real quick. You know what I'm saying? Let me, uh, let me bust down on Shouter. You're going to have to switch it up. I think this one right here is where it's really looking for people that are looking to get off of the app, meet in person, create a safe space for them to be able to talk about different things. Like I said, some of the sapiosexuals, the people that really get deep into conversation and they're intrigued by that, they have created a safe space for that, for their premium users. Again, this is Jonathan Joseph and I think this is dope. I was researching, just looking for something because what struck me to want to watch or look for it is that a lot of people are saying that this generation is doomed in regards to dating. I don't actually think so. I just think people want what they want, but they try to force people to fit into this little bubble that they want people to fit into, which is a whole a conversation for another day. And I will be having a woman get on and we're going to discuss that because a lot of people say it's trash out here, but I think people are just trying to create a player instead of actually finding someone that's compatible with them. But one of the key things that I loved about the More Love Lounge is that the premium users, and I'm gonna make sure I get this right, they can share their views on sex, marriage, religion, and children throughout real-time conversations. I think that's different because like I said, previous apps, I'm not a big fan of even using them. I don't use them. I like to meet people in person, but just getting feedback from people that have used these sites and apps, pretty much everybody on there is trying to fuck something real quick if we just keep it out of where stay. However, I think what this brother is doing is really trying to find out what are people looking for from like a gender perspective, uh, like even asking questions like, do you, do, do you prefer public display of affection? Um, are you willing to travel to meet someone? So it's a lot of different things that you're wanting to do, but I think this is a good attempt to actually bring together people that are wanting to build a family and looking to actually exclusively date, not just hook up and have a good little night or a little weekend. Uh, so I will be posting their information in this actual video to let you see exactly of where you can find it at. But again, Jonathan Joseph Jr., he's the CEO and it's a black owned innovative relationship building app. Uh, so don't get on there if you're trying to smash something. Get on there if you're really looking for true love and really want to build a companionship with somebody. There's a black owned app that I'll be posting in this video that you can go and check them out. See what your thoughts are. If you've already tried them out before, even though they've released recently, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I think this is a huge win because everybody thinks the dating pool got pissed in it. Uh, but it's good to see some bro a brother is actually trying to change that narrative and create and space for people to you know meet, do their thing, uh, and build and create more you know black families whatever you know uh but let me know your thoughts on this as always man this is uh d rose long live cc i'm out